Washington command or defensive line was absolutely dominant. And, you know, it's Monday. And I always liked a little Monday Night Raw. Let's watch John Ridgeway just stack the guard here. Like, that's exactly how you do it. Power step, stack the guard. Now, read the middle screen. Damian Pierce, little spot screen. So here we go. Monday Night Raw. This is the reverse suplex right here. The reverse flying suplex. Like, you just don't see this. And I know he got flagged for it, but so what? Like, just screenshot that. If you're a Commander fan, and you just won five out of six, and nobody can score more than 21 points on you, and you got a backup defensive tackle named Ridgeway, just picking up Damian Pierce and spinning him and flipping him sideways? Like, can I get a flex? Can I get a flex on that one right there, Ridgeway? Ah, boy, that's it, man. That's how this Commander's team is playing. <laughs> that's what you're dealing with. It's nasty inside there. It ain't fun. It's nasty. That's the way it's got to be. It's just I remember when we was one and four, I think right after the Tennessee loss. And I was listening to somebody. It, 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 it vaguely hits my mind because when we was one and four, I was just so angry and and pissed off. And it was just a lot of things going through all of our minds at that particular time when we were one and four. I don't want to take y'all back there because it was so painful. But I'm just trying to set the video up. But one of the creators was like, yo, man, this team doesn't have any dogs. And I was like, that show sure don't. He was like, man, we our dogs just let people just walk right on in the, right on in the fence. And all they do is just wag their tail. And then after that, Jonathan Allen, who was really the only dog that we had, he was like, yo, keep that same energy. Then after that, the dog fest begun. Then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, Jonathan Allen wasn't alone. Deron Payne became a dog. Cameron Curl was already a dog, but he was injured the first few games of the year, so that was a dog that came back. Then Montez Sweat said, hold up, hold up. I'm about to join. I'm, I'm a dog, and I knew you was a dog, Montez. And then Montez became a dog. Then, after the criticism of Jamin Davis, and he put his little video out, all of a sudden, now Jamin Davis is a dog. Then, hold up. We get rid of, we actually trade William Jackson III for a Snickers bar and a pack of barbecue chips. And then, all of a sudden, Benjamin St. Juice become a dog. Then we have a second-year player, Brian Robinson. Not Brian Robinson, I'm sorry. Derek Forrest, who said, hold up, y'all ain't leaving me out. I'm a dog. Now, he's a dog. See, this dog thing is getting contagious. So, then you got John Ridgeway. <laughs> you ever been, you know, a lot of you guys, you know, this is, it's 2022. A lot of people haven't been to junkyards. You know, you just don't go to junkyards hardly no more. But in the junkyard, they used to have a dog in every junkyard. He was chained. He was chained to, to tire rims and all kind of things. Chained, literally chained to cars. Big chains. And when any time a customer comes, it's like he's trying to pull the car to attack you. That's a junkyard dog. His his screws aren't like all the other dogs. The other dogs, you know, somebody breaks in and they'll, they'll attack. But no, this dog right here is ready to attack at any moment. Ladies and gentlemen, that's John Ridgeway. I done lost the dog count. We went from two dogs. I, I mean, we know Terry's a dog. We that's, That goes without saying. We, I'm talking about the defense right now. And now we got dogs all over the place. And wherever that football goes, those dogs go towards it. And this defense, man, is just getting nastier and nastier and nasty. And it starts up front. I mean, the best thing we could have did, the best move of the year, the best. And, and, and trust me, I don't like to kick nobody when they're down. But the best thing that we did that Ron did, the thing that he did that saved this defense for this season 
was getting rid of Sam Mills the third. And now Biscanina and Ryan Kerrigan got this defense playing like their hair is on fire. Now the back end of the D is getting is get that's what's getting scarier. The back end is starting and, and Cole Holcomb isn't even here. That's another probably soon as Cole turn comes back. He transformates into a dog, like the old Snoop Dogg video. When the head started just changing into dogs. That's what we got going on here right now. I ain't talking X's and, X's and O's. It's, it's holidays. Holidays is tomorrow, man. I, I probably won't do another video to Friday. I might do a video tomorrow. But all I can say is we was a dogless defense. And now we got dogs all over the place. They're trained to attack. They're playing in unison. And nobody's scoring more than 21 points against us. So that's going to lead me to the offense. The offense is going to have to start scoring even more. Because that Houston game, I mean, we should at least score 30 or 40 points. That's why I can't literally really. I know a lot of people are thinking, yo, we about to go to the playoffs. I'm not quite there yet. Because I need more out of this offense. But the defense and the special teams are playing at an extremely high level. I don't I don't think a lot of people, I mean, we know what's going on in Washington, but a lot of people don't know what's going on across the world. They're starting to, they're starting to see, like, hold up. But our defense and our special teams is playing at an extremely high level. And if the offense just steps it up. Just two more notches. We can be very dangerous. Let's take command.